The prefix sim or sin means to come together, so dehydration synthesis is an anabolic reaction, meaning it is a reaction where smaller molecules are combined to make larger molecules, and the reason it is called dehydration is that as the smaller molecules are being connected, a water molecule is removed. So the specific example we're going to look at involves glucose and fructose, both of which are simple carbohydrates, but no matter what molecules we start with, the reaction is going to involve these areas of the molecule where we have a hydrogen bound to an oxygen. This is a functional group called a hydroxyl group. So one of the molecules is going to lose an entire hydroxyl group, the other molecule is going to lose a hydrogen from their hydroxyl group, then those two molecules are going to connect at the remaining oxygen, and the two hydrogens and one oxygen that left are going to come together to make water. Now it might seem weird that we call this dehydration synthesis when we are creating water, but that water came from the molecules, so the molecules were dehydrated. Moving on to hydrolysis, the term lyse means to break, and hydro refers to water, so hydrolysis is the exact reverse of dehydration synthesis. Molecules are broken apart by adding water. So that makes it a catabolic reaction, because in an anabolic reaction, we are taking small molecules and combining them into larger molecules, and in a catabolic reaction, we are taking big molecules and breaking them back into small molecules. So when sucrose is combined with water, the water can be reincorporated into the hydroxyl groups, which separates the molecules. So as I mentioned before, glucose, fructose, and sucrose, those are all carbohydrates but all major biomolecules, meaning carbs, lipids, proteins, nucleic acids, in all living organisms, are built using dehydration synthesis and are broken down using hydrolysis. And the process is fundamentally the same regardless of what molecules are involved or what organism the reaction is happening in. But because each reaction only connects or disconnects one molecule at a time, to make or break larger molecules, this process needs to be repeated. So to make maltose, which is only two glucose molecules connected together, that only takes one round of a dehydration synthesis reaction. But to create a complex carbohydrate like glycogen, which is over 100,000 glucose molecules connected together, the reaction needs to be repeated over 100,000 times as each subsequent glucose is added to the growing chain. Another thing that you should be aware of is that in order for these reactions to happen in conditions which are compatible with life and fast enough to sustain life, enzymes are required. And because enzymes are always specific to a specific chemical reaction, each reaction for each biomolecule requires a specific enzyme. So plants have the enzyme sucrose synthase to make sucrose, and humans have the enzyme sucrase, which breaks sucrose back down into glucose and fructose. And every other biomolecule has associated enzymes as well. So if an organism does not have the enzyme, it is either not going to be able to do the reaction at all, or it is going to be in such a tiny amount it won't really matter. All right, so that's all I have to say about dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. Definitely ask questions if you have them, because there's a lot of little facts and details that I did not want to cover in this one simple video. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day, and have fun learning!